Hey guys, Tarp with Cyclone FPV. Uh, good morning. It is, oh, I don't know, about 7.30, I guess, in the morning right now. My wife, Samantha, is sitting back there helping me pack some inventory up to ship out some orders to you guys, so I appreciate it. So if you hear me answering any questions with her or helping her out back there, that is why. Uh, so I am doing a quick video here. For some of you guys, you may have the same problem I'm having here with the QX7, or basically in general, I'm, I'm looking over here to share the screen here, so let me see if I can do this. Okay, so I've got my QX7. This is what I use when I'm flying. Uh, I love this one. Uh, I love this transmitter. It's extremely um, well put together for me. It feels well. I, I like everything about it, but I do have a problem, and that is that after I did a specific update or <coughs> did some card content changes, uh, <coughs> I now have an error when I turn it on. It's a, it's a simple error, but I wanted to show you guys. So here's what happens. Welcome to Once it starts up, it's gonna say SD card warning, right? And the SD card warning is saying that it's expecting a different version than what I have on here. And that is because I did a firmware change to test something out earlier, and so now I'm stuck. So I'm just gonna go through how to fix this real quick, and I'm actually gonna update it. So if you have a QX7, I've done a lot of videos on them, but this is gonna be one, uh, I guess a newer updated one, kind of quick though, so it's not for somebody who's just starting out, but uh, it, will, it will help you if you kind of find yourself in this position. So to get past the screen, I'm just gonna hit exit. And I've got everything here that I need. So now I'm going to go ahead and turn it off. And I need to get this into DFU mode. So normally what we'll do is we'll just hold the trims in, press the power button real quick. We'll get here. And we're going to go ahead and plug in our, make sure, oops, on cable. Make sure I get the right cable here. And we're going to plug in our USB, which is right there. Okay. And with that, I'm going to now pop up on the, to, the, um, uh, to the computer screen here. And we're going to go ahead and launch OpenTX, all right? Okay. Now, I was just got done doing an X9D Plus for a customer, so my radio profile is actually going to be, oops, let me click this, uh, radio profile is actually going to be on the X9D customer. I do have my X7 right here that is my personal one, which is this one, uh, already configured, but I am going to move some of the um, files around here so kind of ignore this part I want it to be more organized in a folder called transmitter but now I've got to find where I put my uh, XQX7 where the heck did I put it oh uh, here it is okay so I'm just gonna take this and I'm gonna cut it I'm gonna drag it over to transmitters and I'm gonna paste it here I want to just have a folder that's a little more organized okay so I need to obviously definitely now go to here and select my model but I need to change the settings uh, to tell it that I've just moved that folder. So so that folder is going to be, um, uh, we're going to go to our downloads, and then we're going to the transmitters folder, and then we're going to QX7, and it would be card contents right here, and click select folder, and that is my card contents. And my backup folder, uh, I'm actually going to make it for all my models, so I'm just going to call it here. Um, um, I'm going to make a new folder and call it um, uh, transmitter backup, I guess, or whatever. So let me do trans, whoops, I'm on the wrong screen. Bear with me a second. So T R A N S dash backup. Oh my God, if I can just spell. Okay, so we're gonna use that as our backup folder and click select folder. And that'll be it from now on. And we are gonna make automatic backups uh, possible. And then we are gonna go here, make sure everything else looks good. And it does. Let me make sure if I'm missing. Yeah, I wanna change this because our backup folder here is also going to be the backup. So we'll use go downloads, transmitter. And there we go. Okay, and click select. All right, so I think my change is already done now. So we're gonna click okay. All right, now um, I have not done a firmware update on this or I've done something. I've changed the firmware a little bit. So what I wanna do is I wanna go ahead and click download and I want to actually, let me go to my settings first and make sure I've got everything selected that I want. Uh, yeah, these are all the um, options that I want right now. Yes, okay, so let me click okay. Let me click download. And I'm going to go ahead and download the firmware. And uh, for my firmware, for this one, I'm going to go to QX7. And I'm going to go to card contents. I'm going to go to firmware. And I'm going to name the folder. I'm going to click a new folder name and call it, um, uh, uh, let's just say, OpenTX-FW. Okay? And I'm going to start putting all my firmware, including the old ones, in there. If I can just get this to stop bouncing all over the place. Oh, wait, I need to go here. Yeah, so that's not going to help me. I just changed the file name entirely, so that didn't help me at all. So let me go ahead and go back. God, sorry, guys, I'm zooming along here and just not thinking. So let me just go ahead and put this in here. Okay, so this file is just way too long, so I'm just going to call it OpenTXX7 
right there. I know exactly what the rest of it means, so let's go ahead and download that. All right, and uh, yeah, sure, I'll go ahead and write it right now, why not? So we're gonna write it to TX, okay? So that part is just about done. Okay, and I do wanna download the card contents, so because I have this feeling I'm missing something here, so I'm gonna take the 2.2.2, the newest one, right here. I'm gonna download that. And that's gonna go to my, and I just did, this is the X90, so I'm just gonna not worry about this one. Let me close this and go back here. Okay, so uh, we have our download coming here and it should be in just a second. So let me just make sure uh, it's right here. So as soon as that's done, now in the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and check what I've got going on on my OpenTX. So this one is done, click OK, close. And let me go back to downloads and let me check for any updates. There are no updates and I don't believe there's any OpenTX updates. Let me check for that. Uh, nope, so everything is good. Remember guys, this is the update check for OpenTX Companion, not for your radio. This one is the updates for your radio. Okay, so don't be mistaken with that. Um, all right, so let me see how we're doing on our downloads. Okay, so SD card contents is done. So oops, like I've said in the past, we are going to, um, did you get everything you need? Yes, sir. Fine. Okay. Uh, so we're gonna take that and we're gonna cut that. And we're gonna go to transmitters, QX7. And I'm just gonna drop that here. So I can keep a good copy of it here and then I'm gonna extract it. And then we're gonna do the same thing like getting rid of the files that we don't want. So um, I guess the main thing here is there's, you know, there are steps to do and I've, I've said this in my videos and I know I ramble a lot, but in other case, there's steps that I follow when I'm doing this and it keeps everything consistent, right? Folder, um, organizing and so forth. Um, and so uh, this is one of the steps. Now, if you don't stay organized like this, that's your choice, but there are gonna be chances where you've got the wrong file or you don't know which version you've got or you can't remember where you put it. Whatever the case may be, it just make it easier, just stay organized and file uh, uh, file uh, your files in folders that are organized properly, if you'd like. If not, good luck. Okay, we're almost done extracting this and then we're gonna go ahead and delete the stuff here so you will see this here in just a second. So let's do this, bam. All right, so we're almost there, come on already. Now the one thing that I want to make sure of is, okay, so we've got our information in the Crossfire folder, but let me check something out here. Uh, in my card contents, I believe I have the same. Okay, so I definitely have more options here. Uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and open another um, file explorer and compare the files here. I wanna see what we've got just for my own thing. Now you can, where is my screen on? There we go. Okay, so if I look at my, QX7, and I go to my card content, no, no, not there. I wanna to go to my uh, QX7, and then I wanna to go to the cross right here. So 912, 19, yeah, so there's definitely some changes here, right? So we've got some changes here, but there's a reason I did this, and I can't remember what it was. It was a build by someone, although I don't remember uh, why. So I'm gonna keep these and add these as well, I guess. Um, but uh, I, I think it was for compatibility on something, and I can't remember exactly what it was for, but I remember I had to download these. So um, I just wanna make sure that I do not lose anything here that I don't wanna lose. So we have, the only thing that really matters to me is the firmware folder and also the um, audio folder. So if I go to my QX7 folder, this is the card contents we just did, and as I've shown you guys before, if you, I'm bouncing around all over the place, but if you go to properties on that folder that we just extracted, it's 137 megs. And if you go ahead and just go to your sounds and remove everything but English, uh, you will take out about 120 of those megs, right? And you'll be left with about, um, uh, let me see if I can get to my, here we go. And then I'm just gonna go ahead. Uh, I think that's, I think that puts me good where I wanna be. Okay, so now if you look at your card contents, um, and you right-click on you should be about 16 max, right? Okay, so, and there you are. So we get rid of all that by not needing all the uh, audio uh, that is on there. So let me just make sure I've got everything the way I want it. And it looks good, so let me empty this, yes. And now we get back to our OpenTX. 
and we get back to our folders. Oops, I think I launched the benchmark software. Did me too. Okay, so on our folders here, uh, this is a new card contents folder, and I don't need the firmware folder uh, to come across. Uh, I don't know what is in the, oh, okay. All right, all right, good. So this is definitely something we're gonna have as an update. So let's do the following. Model should have nothing in it for me, so I can get rid of that. Uh, screenshots, scripts, I'll keep sounds, I'll, I'll send over, I'm sure they have updates. Uh, EPROB, I'll leave, I don't believe it, and then Crossfire. Uh, I will just, I'm not sure what I want to do about that right now, but I guess I'll let it go over. So I'm going to take this, uh, and I'm going to copy, and I'm going to go to my original card contents, and I'm going to, just for the sake of it, I'm going to uh, send them to a zip file, and I'm going to date that, because in case something copies over that I don't want it to, I want to make sure I have a copy of this, right? So I'm just going to say, um, old... Uh, contents dash oh nine one two one nine okay and that just means that I've got my stuff backed up for me now I can go ahead and take these contents here click copy go to my card contents here and see like my models I have stuff in there so I definitely didn't want that to write over and I'm gonna click paste uh, paste there we go Uh, and we are going to replace. Okay, so models and firmware did not get replaced. Everything else did. And now what I want to do is I am going to go to my, uh, I, this is just me, but I go to my uh, E drive. There's all my stuff there. And I'm going to see if it will let me format my E drive. So let's try that. Make sure there's nothing in here I need, and I don't believe there is. So yeah, let me go ahead and format that because I do want to get rid of files. Uh, so let me just do a quick format. Yes. Let's see if it works without issue. Sometimes I get an error message. It's not looking too good right now. And we might get an error message here in just a minute. We shall see. And we're patiently waiting. And we're waiting. Not so much of a quick format happening, so I assume we're going to end up with our error message here slip or shortly. Uh, and what I end up doing is taking the card out and putting it in the computer, so sorry about that. It will take me just a minute to do that. Two minutes, five minutes. Um, okay. So, hmm. I'll click cancel. See if we can uh, get that to stop. Okay, there we go. All right, so let's click close. I don't believe it finished the formatting, uh, but we'll see. Yeah, there you go, wonderful. So uh, we are going to, I am going to now eject this uh, disk here. I think it's the memory size maybe that has the problem, I don't know. But uh, let's go ahead and just take that out. And I'm gonna go ahead and pop this off here, go to exit, and I'm gonna see obviously my errors. So let me go ahead and just turn this off. Okay, so I will just put this in a reader. And for some reason, I'm telling you, it seems to be with the 32 gig sticks uh, that there is the problem, but um, that's okay. Let me grab a, oh God, I just got this new USB um, reader. So let's see. Oh, let's see if it works well. Okay, so I'm going to put this here. Bear with me a second. We will go ahead and plug this in. Okay, and we will format the card now. Oh, yes, of course, we want to format it. So there we go. And let's just say start. Okay. There we go. Format is complete. Close. And now I will eject this one. Okay, this is a great little tool. I got it off Amazon, I love it already. First time to use it and it has come in handy. And I just opened it this morning. 
me go ahead and put my memory card back in. And then we'll go ahead, get back into our DFU here. Oops, sorry, I'm used to working on the X90 this morning. All right, so let's do that. And then we will now go back to our OpenTX. And I will go ahead and close it and start fresh here. So let's go ahead and open our OpenTX again. Sorry guys, that was a big, a long workaround just because I screwed that up, but it happens. So here we go. Okay, so um, getting back to the setup that we have, make sure we're still in the same radio. That is the QX7, okay. And now what I wanna do is I wanna go ahead and write, and you're gonna see again where it says uh, no SD card detected because it is formatted. So we have to go tell it ourselves where it is. And that's gonna be right here. And we're gonna select that folder. And um, we are going to copy both directions and we know that there's nothing on the uh, memory card because we deleted it, right? So um, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna get this quick start. And we're gonna see all our files copy over. We shouldn't have any errors, but we want to watch the details here real quick. And I need to find my coffee. Excuse me. Second. Almost there. Sorry, you have to watch this part, but um, I guess that's the kind of stuff that sucks when we're doing videos is some of the unexpected, and I don't like to edit. Matter of fact, I'm gonna be honest with you here. We'll just sit here a second. Uh, I do not like to edit the videos. It's not what I want to spend my time doing. So if I screw up, you're gonna see it. That's the way it goes. And I promise you, a lot of people screw up. A lot of people just edit it out. Me, I don't care. Uh, if there's somebody who tells me they don't make a mistake, I'll just tell him he's full of it. It's for me, uh, or I'll drop stuff in the middle of the video. I'll fry stuff. I'm not proud of it, but it happens. Uh, it just kind of keeps it real, I guess. Uh, although I won't do it on purpose, just so I can say I keep it real. That'd be pretty stupid. Um, some cool things while you're sitting here. Uh, we're almost done copying, I think. Uh, we've got the new FrySky receivers coming in. We've got new uh, China Hobby line is now going to be in our store. I'm really excited about that. All right, looks like we're done here, so let me go ahead and now switch over. All right, so there we go. So we're done, and everything's been copied over. And you know what? Just to do it, I'll say do it again. And I'll click OK. And this time it's going to go instantly, right? Boom. There's nothing because it says already all the files are copied over. OK, so we have done uh, the firmware, and now I'm going to, just for the heck of it, I'm going to say I want to write the firmware to the radio. So I'm going to say, OK, find the firmware I downloaded, which is right here. But uh, we're going to go check and make sure. There it is. That's the one I just did. And we're going to say write to TX. So we're going to write that real quick. Okay, and I'm just doing it as a precaution in case something didn't go right. I'm gonna close that. And now I'm also going to back up, um, I want to back up my radio. So I'm gonna back this up here and I'm gonna put it in, uh, this is, mm, I'm gonna put it in my backup folder here. Downloads, transmitters, uh, backup. And this is gonna be, I'm gonna title this QX7, uh, QX7-091219. Uh, dash Okay, and click save. All right, let it go ahead and pull the models and settings, and there it is. And I think, I don't think there's anything else. I think the rest of this I'll do on my own time. Whoops. Because one of the things that is um, needs to be done here is, I mean, look how many models I have here. These are all quads that I have to test or fly or do whatever. And I need to, this is a Rush FPV test. This is another one. So I need to organize these, but I'll do that later. Uh, I wonder, though, you know what, now that I'm here... I wonder if I can edit the, no, nah, that's too bad. I was hoping I could edit all the um, uh, curves that I have on each model because I want to default them back. And uh, let me make sure my calibrator, yeah, that's too bad. I was hoping I could do that, but I guess I can. Uh, maybe I can later, I don't know. It looks like there's more option maybe down here. I don't know. Um, I don't think that's going to help me. Okay, so I'm just going to get out of that. Anyways, um, so uh, now that I'm done, um, we know that we've written the firmware, right? So we've gone to 2.2.4, I believe. 
Um, but what we need to do now is we need to update the bootloader, right? So to do that, uh, one thing we're going to do is we are going to now get out of this. So we're going to click exit. And we are going to go and safely eject the um, Tyrannus uh, map drives here, right? Okay, and now we can pull out the there. All right, now what I want to do now is I'm going to click exit. Welcome to OpenTX. Okay. Throttle warning. And I'm going to go, mode. I'm going to hit on my uh, menu button, hold it down, hit page one time, and I'm going to go to my firmware. And there's my new folder, OPTX FW. Oh, you guys can't see that. Hold on a second. Sorry. Uh, let's try this. Okay, so there is, starting from the beginning here, hold the menu button down, press page, go to firmware. There's my new folder, OPTX firmware. There is my new OPTX firmware. Hold that down. I want to flash the bootloader. It's going to write it real quick. And now, when I turn this off, okay, and turn it back on. Welcome to OpenTX. Perfect. So all the errors are gone. Everything's good. And if I hold my mode button down, we can start seeing what we've gotten here. So I can press page. Uh, whoops. Let me go back. Um, and we can start going through our radio setup. Make sure everything's set. Date and time. It is not uh, correct. So it is 7. And it is now 7.57, I believe, in the morning. Okay. And let's go this other way. Yes, yes, yes. TR. Uh, I don't know what I have as my time. I don't understand. I think it's supposed to be negative six, but I have no idea. Let me see if that affects what I just did. No, that's right. And the date is right. Uh, I think it's negative six for Chicago or Houston or whatever. Uh, okay, everything else looks good. Yep. Okay, so usually what I do after I do a firmware is I go to my calibration. So I hold menu button down. And actually, you can hold the page button down and go backwards because I think it's a screen. There you go. So I'm going to set everything to the center, or at least what I think is center. And I'm going to go ahead and knock out my calibration real quick. All right, so let's put these in the center. Okay, and I'm going to hit Enter to start and set sticks to the midpoints. Uh, okay, and then we're going to go ahead and move them straight up, straight down, left, right, straight up, straight down, left, right, and then corner, 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 corner. Corner, 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 corner. Just you know, do whatever you want to do here. It knows its limitations, and then turn, turn, and set it back and hit enter. All right. So now my stuff looks centered. Everything looks good. It looks like we're good to go, guys. So um, error is gone now. I, I know that was a 23-minute video on a waste of time because half of it was formatting the card, but that is done. Everything looks good. If you have any questions, hit me up. Uh, please make sure to subscribe to our channel at. Uh, Cyclone FPV. Uh, did you find your phone? It's binging in the middle of all this. No, sorry. Oh, it just, it, it's somewhere there. Looks like um, it. Okay, and then uh, it's, make sure to like or follow or whatever you do right there. Okay, and then if you have any questions, hit me up uh, at uh, Tark at CycloneFPV.com. If you post any comments to the video, I do try to get them, but it's hard for me to figure out how all that works to respond to the comments and make sure I did it. So if I missed it, please just write me or do whatever you. Uh, anyways, God bless. Safe flying, guys. If you have any questions, hit me up. If not, we'll see you soon. Bye.